What's up you guys, I'm Dan, this is Frugal Not Cheap. Today we'll go on a quick grocery run to highlight some issues that we still have with Tesla's full self-driving supervised version 12. Okay guys, so we're running on uh, full self-driving 12.3.6. So since my last FSD beta video, when we were on 12.3.4, we got a couple of quick point updates in rapid succession that put us on to this 12.3.6. Um, okay, I'm gonna engage the uh, full self-driving system as soon as I can, which is now. And these uh, minor, you know, point updates are meant to be pretty minor. We're not expecting huge changes in functionality, but worth a check to see how we do. One of the things we can check here is to see how uh, FSD handles this gate. Hopefully it's going to um, stop at an appropriate distance. Excellent. It was enough to hit the, uh, the motion sensor there and the gate is opening for us. And let's see how we do proceeding forward. So I wanted to highlight a couple of uh, issues where, um, ba you know, well, it's hard to uh, remember to call this FSD supervised. It's kind of a weird name. Uh, we're just going to call it FSD. That's going to be easier. Um, but there's still a couple of issues that, um, that I have with the software, and we'll see if those are going to um, show themselves today. So the first one's right here off the bat is we have a Chuck Cook style unprotected left turn. There are three lanes on each side. And unfortunately, traffic is completely clear, so it's probably not going to show. But basically, it's become um, a one-stage maneuver where we just crossed over like that. Whereas in the past, it would be able to use the median in order to, um, uh, whatchamacallit, in order to complete the maneuver um, and kind of a two-stage thing. So you wouldn't have to wait for traffic to be clear on both sides before doing it. The next issue we just did see, though, um, so that is that we were way too close to the curb on the right hand side that was very uncomfortable and we continue to be pretty close to the curb on the right hand side now so this is one major issue that i have with fsd v12 on my legacy model s i did try calibrating the cameras by the way so um, that never seems to do anything um, oh, after a while it does seem to find it's centering a little bit better in the lane uh, but it just takes a little while before it does that so kind of an odd issue maybe something the team did in order to try to prevent some of that curb rash that people were seeing but i'm having an issue again where initially we're getting too close to the curb uh, too far to the right hand side always the right hand side of the lane sometimes even going over the rumple strips then again, the number two issue that we had uh, was back there with the unprotected left turns Chuck Cook style, where they no longer do this nice um, S-shaped two-stage maneuver that we used to have, where it uses the median as a kind of a safe place to stop before proceeding and completing the maneuver. We don't have that anymore uh, with this, these latest versions of version 12. And then the last one, I got to keep an eye out here. We got uh, traffic coming from the left, and uh, it's, it's thinking about it staging itself to make the turn very nicely done very nicely done i think the timing was quite good i don't think we scared that jeep or anything like that so that was good so the third issue that i'm having is um, when i force it to make a lane change or even when it's just doing a lane change on its own it's often very um uh, ooh, this is great okay it is um very hesitant sometimes to make lane changes where it even crosses over the lane a little bit and then comes back and then finally completes the maneuver um, in another attempt very odd but what we can see here we have the school zone speed limit on right now and i have the car set on auto speed limits and because it notices all the other cars going very slowly i believe um, it has actually reduced its speed significantly we're going 24 miles an hour so this is huge um, with the previous version, I had to keep toggling the speed down and um, the speed limit was constantly resetting itself every time we crossed one of these speed limit signs and it was a giant annoyance. We can see now we're doing pretty well. I think 28 is a little bit fast. I'd prefer to be going a little bit slower, but we were at the end of that um, slow limit zone. All right, we got in 1.6 miles, a right hand turn, and there will be another place for FSD version 12 to show off a little bit. So this isn't all a negative video. I just wanted to show you a couple of these issues that we have. So while we have a little bit of runway left, let's see if I can force a lane change. So I'm gonna force a left lane change here, and it completely ignored me. So let's try again. I'm gonna hold the, um, uh, the indicator down this time and see if I can get it to, uh, to make a lane change. 
And I wanted to make a left hand lane change because that's the one that I've been seeing the most trouble with. Um, car doesn't seem to want to do it. Still doesn't want to do it. It's going to be clearer in front of this um, this truck here, but uh, but it, again, it's it's completely ignoring me. Yeah, so nothing happening here. Wait, here we go. Finally, it's kind of trying. Eh, not really. No, the signal's still on. And um, all right, finally, no, again, aborted lane change. It, so there you go. That's that behavior. I can't make it make the lane change that I wanted to make. Um, and now it is doing the appropriate thing navigation wise though, which is to get in this right hand lane. So it could be that when the the, the, the action that it wants to take is in conflict, um, it's ignoring us, but uh, this is definitely new behavior, something that didn't happen uh, back when version 11. And again, you, you can see that hesitancy, um, no matter what you think, that's unwanted behavior. So those are the three major issues that I'm seeing here with FSD version 12. Uh, but otherwise, again, I'm really, really happy with this performance. Um, everything you've seen so far today, um, again, traffic has been light, right? It's around four o'clock um, on, uh, on a Monday. Traffic's not too bad. It will pick up in the next hour or two. Uh, but frankly, some people have commented about that, like, hey, why don't I try it when traffic is heavy? Um, it doesn't make much difference, honestly. I haven't really noticed anything. It's really about how difficult the, the maneuvers are. Um, and then in some cases, it does matter, like, if, if we have a car where we want to make our right turn coming up, and I hope we do, uh, looks like, yeah, we do, thank goodness. Because in the past, version 11 could never, ever, ever make this turn. But now we have a car here, uh, version 12 is appropriately slowing down, and hopefully we're going to make our right-hand turn here, and we are. That is absolutely excellent. This is something that, again, uh, version 11 never, never, never could do. And the smoothness that we're seeing here um, is, is just far, far better than anything we ever saw with version 11. So I'm incredibly happy uh, with that. So I'm going to disengage manually now just because I want to park. And there might be a spot up there that I want to take. Let's see. But man, this was really, really good behavior. On a kind of down note, uh, Legacy SNX, as of this filming, on version 12.3.6 uh, and um, software version software version 2024.3.25 does not have the new auto park, even though that came out for a lot of cars that have ultrasonic sensors. I'll be looking forward. Hopefully we're going to get that, um, that feature here on the Legacy Model S in the future. So there you have it guys, quick drive with FSD version 12.3.6, pointing out a few issues, but also some of the uh, improvements that we're definitely seeing here. Altogether, I'm very, very happy with this version and looking forward to future updates that will fix these uh, remaining problems. But again, they are much fewer now, um, much, much fewer and much, much less annoying as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.